Since we are studying lines this week, we're going to make what's called a zentangle. And you saw examples of our zentangle in our slideshow. First thing we're going to do is to fold just a regular white piece of paper into four piece or four parts. So you're folding it into fourths. Now when we open it up, you can see I have four parts. I'm going to take a pencil. I'm doing mine in brown so that you can see it better. Yours can be any color you want. And make it so that I can really see those different parts. Now I'm going to use different types of colors in each of these parts. One part, I'm going to write them up here so that you can see them, is primary colors. Another part is secondary colors. The third one is going to be warm colors. And this last one is going to be cool colors. When we're making our zentangles, we're only going to use primary colors in this square, secondary colors in this square, warm in this square, and cool in this square. My primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. So I'm going to make lots of different types of lines using only primary colors. Remember in those zentangles that we saw, they were so filled with lots of different types of lines. Here I have a wavy line, I have my horizontal lines. I'm going to add some vertical lines with yellow. Then maybe some diagonal lines with my blue. You're going to fill up this entire square. I'm going to work on it and I'll come back. So let's look at all the different types of lines that I put in here. I have vertical lines, more wavy lines. I have this really thick line, lots of thin lines. I have curved lines, some horizontals, really small horizontals, really long horizontals, some diagonal dotted lines, a diagonal wavy line. See how many different types of lines you can put into each one. Now I'm going to move on to my secondary colors. My secondary colors are green, orange, and purple. I'm going to work on my secondary colors and come back. Here's my artwork with my secondary colors. I have really thick curved lines with my green. Then with my purple, I drew lots of curved lines all connected to make bumpy lines. Here I have some or some vertical lines that then actually turn into diagonal and horizontal lines and then back into vertical lines. I have some zigzag lines and some zigzags that you can't see but if you connected them they would go off the edge. So sometimes your zigzag lines can just be points. And then I colored in some of my areas just to add some interest. And this in itself, this orange, becomes a really, really thick line. My warm colors are red, yellow, and orange. And my cool colors are green, purple, and blue. My purple and blue look the same on the screen, but they're different in real life. So you're going to do your warm colors in this square and your cool colors in this square. All right, I'm excited to see what you come up with. Bye.